the resort community. She works on the Walworth too. She acts as tour guide. But once in a while, along the tour route, Bridget has to put down the microphone and perform the other duty of this job. She has to deliver the mail. Now, if that doesn't sound too tough, just watch. slows down just a little and usually there's just enough time for Bridget to jump off run to a mailbox and hop back on the boat again before it's too late a couple times I um, spent too much time trying to put the mail in the mailbox and getting it closed and putting down taking outgoing mail and the boat just kind of keeps going without you know many times residents are waiting for their mail and that makes Bridget's job a lot easier there's just a handoff, or sometimes a little toss does the trick. The mail has been delivered like this during the summer months on Lake Geneva since the turn of the century. It's one of the last marine mail delivery services left in the United States. It's certainly the oldest. The deliverers are usually college students. After all, you need someone young to make those special runs through the subdivisions. And this job is not without its hazards. We've had a couple of sprained ankles through the years. We had one girl fall on the pier and, and uh, bruise her rib cage a little bit, but nothing you know, really serious, fortunately. There's one other hazard to this mail delivery job that every postal carrier everywhere has to deal with. The hazard we're talking about is running down that pier right now. And as the boat pulls up, you can see the confrontation build. <laughs> What's that expression? Through rain and sleet and snow? Nowhere does it say mean dog sitting on piers. Mark Kane, News 3, traveling in Lake Geneva.